what is up you guys today I'm gonna talk to you about my day morning skincare routine it's gonna be Korean it's gonna be cruelty free I've worked a long time to get here to get to a full cruelty free daycare routine I put all the links down below regarding where I find my information and where you can buy the products and where I found the information that they are cruelty free anyway let's just get into the video the first product I want to talk to you about is the crave beauty matcha hemp hydrating cleanser it is a new product for me it's finally on the market in Europe it's quite expensive to buy in Europe right now I live in the Netherlands and it is quite expensive to have the matcha hemp hydrating cleanser it's $16 it's described as a gentle anti-stripping face wash which I totally agree it is very nice to my combination to oily skin I do have some dry patches it doesn't accentuate my dry patches it's a gel cleanser which is the first time for me that I'm using a gel cleanser and I like to use it in the mornings now I have another cleanser that I was supposed to finish but I couldn't actually put this one down it uses coconut based surfactants to deeply cleanse without stripping instead nourishing matcha and hemp seed oil will store essential amino acids and an antioxidants to the skin. No residue, no tightness, no worries. It's always vegan, cruelty-free, free of fragrances and essential oils and colorants. This was an interesting one because the color and texture of the Much Hemp Hydrating Cleanser may naturally vary slightly from batch to batch, which we shouldn't worry about. It also states that Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser contains 30% of matcha and is formulated with a pH of five to six. It may vary by batch. So that's an interesting one. I don't go into the ingredients a lot because I'm a hobbyist and as you can see, I'm just talking from my own experience how I enjoy the cleanser and I am enjoying this cleanser quite a bit. I like the gel texture. I like that it has a lower pH. It doesn't dry out my skin. Um, my skin feels like my skin, but I guess it does lift some impurities. I don't know what it does, but I see the hype. I'm living for it. I love it. Next up is the Refresh Water by Hamish. Now, if you saw my previous video, please skip this part because uh, I'm going to be repeating myself. But um, this was actually my cruelty-free dupe for the Sun and Park Beauty Water. You can see my review on the Sun and Park Beauty Water as well in the last video. I won't go into this one too much. But let's just go to the website and see what is described as. It's a multitasker and acts as a mouth cleansing water exfoliating toner in one. I agree. It exfoliates my skin after cleansing. I love taking it down to my neck and exfoliating that part of my neck as well. I love looking at my cotton pad after a while and just go, oh my god, I lifted so many impurities. I feel so accomplished. It, it's formulated with 90% natural ingredients and packed with over 20 botanical extracts. The orange fruit extract works alongside natural AHA and BHA to exfoliate the skin. Now, again, I won't go into the A AHAs and BHAs too much, but those are chemical exfoliants that I've been using for a long time as well, just as is. The percentage of AHA and BHA is so low in this product that I can use it twice a day so on day and night I can use this product and it doesn't irritate my skin it doesn't take away my natural skin barrier or anything which it was what I was looking for I wanted to find a toner that actually exfoliates as well and that I could use properly on a daily basis twice a day it is also free of parabens alcohol or any artificial colors and fragrance it's great for all skin types, including sensitive skin types. I have hyperpigmentation. I'm acne prone, especially now that I'm pregnant. I don't know how many weeks pregnant I am when I'm uploading this video, but when I'm actually doing this video, I am 35 weeks pregnant. It's also the reason why I'm wheezing throughout this video, just because the baby is really big. Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Now, I love this product. This is one of those products that has been with me through all my skin types, through my pregnancy. It's not a vegan product. It is cruelty-free. It's a cruelty-free brand. Closer X was actually one of the products or one of the product lines I started with when I started skincare in 2016. For those of you who are wondering like, oh my God, you started when you were 26. I know I was really late to the game. But um, yeah, I'm trying to better myself and fix myself. Uh, a lightweight essence which absorbs into the skin fast and gives the skin a natural glow from the inside. Now, I totally agree. I use this as my essence, but I actually also 
uh, on really hot days, I can use this as a essence slash moisturizer in one. Uh, I had to get used to the texture because it is 96.3% of snail secretion filtrate. Um, yeah, and you see that the texture is very gooey. It's very uh, reminiscent of snail mucin. It's now a very known product. It's very famous. I know that there's a dual one out there right now, but this one has, I don't know, I, I think I've gone through five, maybe more of these in my lifetime starting from 2016 i use it mainly by day but i also like to use it at night it's just one of those holy grail die hard products that um, i can recommend to anyone um, any skin type if i need a little bit more moisturization i do like to go for a gel type of moisturizer i've been using the medicica calming cream by skin and lab now um it's it's basically finished I've used it up all the way it wasn't a lot it only contained 50 milliliters and I got this one in the Yestel an advent calendar in the Yestel advent calendar for 2020 um, and it really saved my life during my pregnancy because during my pregnancy I definitely was getting a little bit of a hormonal breakout and a little bit more rosacea on the skin and uh, I loved it so let's just go on the website. Oh, the website was actually in Korean mainly, and it was hard for me to navigate. So I got my information from Yestel. If I can't use the website, I go to Yestel. It's a calming infused, uh, it's a calming cream infused with magical Sika capsules to deliver a burst of soothing hydration, moisturizing and soothing the sensitive skin at the same time. The green Sika complex provides care for your tired skin. Light, non-sticky texture cream stays on the skin for a long time to hydrate the skin. It is a cream, but it is a gel cream to me. Uh, I like to use this as my last or my moisturizing step on my daytime routine. I also use this as a sort of sleeping mask. So right before I go to bed, I used it up. It's probably the reason why it is finished right now, but I did demo it a little bit a few days ago uh, for this, the reason that I knew it was going to be finished at some point and I wasn't being able to use it. It actually isn't my favorite gel cream or moisturizing cream. It This is an honorable mention because I don't have the cream with me uh, at the moment, but it's uh, also a cruelty-free brand, which I love. So an honorable mention will be the Benton Aloe Propolis Soothing Gel. I think it's also a little bit cheaper. I love this gel in the summer. It's so refreshing. I love the texture. I feel like I, when I put it on my skin, I feel like oh, I just showered. I I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. It's cruelty-free brand. Just to go into it a little bit, it has aloe vera and propolis. Propolis is derived of the honeycomb. So again, it is a cruelty-free brand, but not a vegan product. Uh, the aloe vera helps soothe, irritated skin, and protect the skin with moisture and nutrition. Uh, the propolis is an ingredient derived from honeycomb with excellent skin protection, soothing, and moisturizing effect with rich nutrial, uh, nutritional ingredients. It's formulated with 80% aloe leaf juice and 10% free and 10% bee propolis extract that delivers an intense hydration and nourishment to the skin. It helps soothe and relieve stressed skin, moisturize and brighten the skin complexion and helps fade acne scars, which, yeah, uh, I can, for someone that needs brightening of the skin, hyperpigmentation, acne, you hear it, I told you, uh, this product was nice. It's a lightweight gel texture, enables quick absorption without stickiness. I love this product and I would recommend this product over the Metasica Calming Cream. Not to say that this wasn't a good product. It was a good product. It worked on my combination to oily skin. I would recommend it. But for someone that usually doesn't have a ton of acne, like it saved me during my pregnancy, but on a normal basis, I would actually prefer the Benton one. The Aloe Soothing Sun Cream by Coserex. Now again, it's Coserex. Again, this is one of my ride or dies. Uh, it doesn't leave a white cast, which was one of the things that I really, really, really wanted and I wanted it to be combined or be able to combine it with 
a full face of makeup. I hate it when I use sunscreen and then I put makeup on top of it and then it peels on my cheek area and I get all insecure and I'm like, oh, but my makeup looks so great. Um, this again, holy grail status. I know that Korean sunscreens have gone through some of a controversy and on Reddit, it will have an article about this particular sunscreen not being 50, 50 plus SPF. I, I don't use Reddit as a source of um, fact checking, if you will. It, I'm not saying that like the, the, the person that posted that lied or didn't contact someone. Maybe they did, but it, it's, I think, a sales associate that replied. They didn't pull this off the website. They didn't make an official statement. And as of now, this is still being sold as is. So I'm just gonna assume that it's still an SPF of 50 or else they would have pulled this one. Just like I think the Claire's one, Cray Beauty pulled theirs. Um, I think there were a few more, but this wasn't one that was pulled. Uh, yeah, take that information as you will. Again, it is a sunscreen still being sold as a sunscreen. It isn't being reformulated. This is what it is and it's amazing. It has aloe aborescence leaf extract, which is a key ingredient of Cosrx. Aloe vera, aloe vera, whatever you want to call it. It works well on my screen uh, on my skin. It works amazing on my skin. It's lightweight. It feels like a moisturizer, so that's also why after the snail mucin essence. I can use this product and actually feel moisturized. It, it also kind of just like breaks down the amount of products that I'm using on a daily basis. It's lightweight. Uh, the texture is similar to a light moisturizer. I agree. Unlike other sunblocks, it leaves a dry skin stripped. It absorbs into the skin fast without feeling greasy or leaving a white cast. Agree, agree, agree. It's compact size is e easy for travel. Agree, 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 agree. I like this. Um, I like this for all the reasons that it states over here. I like the. I like it as a daily, daily sunscreen. I even have a backup because this one is almost finished. What I do want to talk about is the. Oh, how do you even say this? Pyong, Pyong Kang Yo, Pyong Yang Yo, Yo, Pyong Kang Yo. I also got this in the 2020 Advent calendar. I haven't found an eye cream that I extremely love, 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 love yet, but this eye cream did a good job. I, I liked it. I was hoping that it would brighten my under eyes because I do have a good set of uh, dark under eyes, but did not. Um, yes, now it says, scent free eye cream infused with fermented black tea and paper mulberry extract to revitalize the under eye area and reduce the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. It's further enriched with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, hyaluronic acid, and ceramide to nourish and moisturize fatigued skin. That's my dog, by the way. It's formulated with EWG verified ingredients and comes in a sleek, luxe black packaging adorned with intricate silver toned landscapes. Okay, I will say that the packaging for this, you'll see it on the website, on the ISTA website. I kept it, like I kept that little tin. It was an experience and I really liked that experience. I liked the way that this came packaged. It had great reviews, so I was excited to start using it. Uh, it doesn't state on this website that it's cruelty free, but I linked other websites below where it is being pushed as a cruelty free brand, a cruelty free item. So therefore I was not afraid of showing this product to you. Uh, I have been using it on uh, for day and night and yeah it was very moisturizing my under eyes can be very dry so I do need to use this to moisturize my under eyes my my lids can be very oily extremely oily to be in fact and uh, in the morning routine I do make sure that I don't put on too much in the mornings it's scent free it's nourishing I agree I don't think it revitalized my under eye area um, Wrinkles, you know, when when you pass 30, wrinkles just happen. Uh, I don't know if it helped reduce my wrinkles. I still I still got wrinkles. Will I repurchase? No, I'll probably look for another one. But it wasn't a bad product. Again, it no idea if it did anything that it did, but it did really feel moisturizing to my eyes, 
and it helped me when I was applying my makeup earlier today. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's my that's my entire routine. It consists of uh, let me just count one, two, three, four, five, six products. So it's a six-step skincare routine. If you take out the Medicica Calming Cream, so the moisturizer, if you will then you can finish your morning skincare routine with only five products uh, which i think my skin does best at about five to six products uh, you don't need a 10-step skincare routine anymore i think i really feel like we were overdoing it when it came to our skin and exfoliating our skin and <laughs> over moisturizing our skin your skin also just has its natural oils and it just it needs to be balanced I'm happy with where my skin is at, which is why I do go foundation free nearly every day. Uh, I don't discriminate against a full beat. I love a full beat when um, the occasion arises for me to do it and when I have the time. Maybe like when I have an hour and I'm just like, oh yeah, like that's the time for myself. But as of right now, it doesn't break the bank to buy these products. It's six products. They last me a while. Some last me longer than others. Um, yeah. I I stand by these products. I'm happy to give you a full cruelty-free skincare routine. And I hope I was informative and like you found value in this video. Thank you so so much for watching. And if you liked this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to bring out a little bit more content in the future. I am heavily pregnant, so maybe there'll be a break at some point in time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching anyway uh, and hearing me rant on about my skincare routine. Anyway, thank you. <laughs>